Whenever you feel compelled to put others first at the expense of yourself, you are denying your own reality, your own identity. This is a quote by David Stafford, and I always go back to it because it reminds me of the impact that my actions towards myself has in my life, in how I experience my reality. Sacrificing yourself for others, denying your own wants and needs and putting people on a pedestal, this costs a lot. It costs energy, self-respect, fulfillment, satisfaction. And you are teaching the world, you are telling the universe that you are not important, that what you want and who you are is not a priority. And this is going to reflect in your relationships. If you are struggling in a relationship right now, then ask yourself if the work has started with you or if you are just affirming for that person to change. If you think the problem why you don't have what you want is because that person has to change and you have to affirm to say magical words to change them, then you are very wrong and that's probably the reason why you are not seeing the result that you want. They are treating you that way as a reflection of what is going on within you. To take your power back means to honor yourself, to prioritize yourself, to choose yourself, to be there for yourself so that you can be there for others, okay? To share from a full cup, not an empty cup, not to sacrifice yourself for anything, but to always Choose yourself first to know what you are bringing to the table, to know the importance of your I am, the uniqueness in that. And that's what we are talking about today. But before I get into it, hello everyone, my name is Al. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. If you're in need of coaching, go to the description box. The information is there. But right now, let's get into today's topic. One of the biggest lessons that we can learn in life is how to be in our own frame, in our own energy. This is a lesson about detachment, detachment from outcomes, expectations, old stories, past experiences, the 3D, what people say, do, think. This is a lesson of lowering importance, the importance that you give to the noise, everything that is happening around you and that makes you feel at its mercy that makes you feel powerless. When you find your confidence, the confidence in who you are, in your own inner self image, that confidence exudes outwards and you become extremely magnetic to people around you and to everything that you desire in your life. Often we allow our external reality, our circumstances, to reinforce our insecurities, fears, doubts, worries. But unless we solve the issue within, we are not going to solve the issue without. Unless you find out your value, your importance, and you recognize it, you will always doubt who you are, your importance, your place in this world, and you will always look for validation outside of you, a validation that you cannot find because your value, your worth, your importance is for you conditional. I have a question to those manifesting a specific person, but this you can apply to anything that you are manifesting really. Have you ever felt like I would do anything to have that desire to be with that person? What can I do more to manifest my desire? I may be doing something wrong. Something's missing. Maybe I'm not doing enough. Maybe I am not filling my days with techniques and that's the reason why I'm not seeing any results outside of me. So all of these ideas are ideas of, I have to earn my manifestation. I have to earn my desire because it's conditional and you don't get that you're not getting that desire because you are conditioning it because you say it's not natural for me to have it. I haven't earned it yet. This is showing you 
You have been enslaved by your desire. You made your desire your God. You are going to be treated accordingly. So how to manifest that desire, but not get trapped in the situation of putting the desire on a pedestal, putting that person, that relationship on a pedestal. And the answer to this question is very simple. You have to understand what your desire is about. Your desire is about you. Your desire is giving you clues on what's not working for you in your self-concept, in your inner world anymore. Your desire is showing you that the state that you are inhabiting is not aligned with that experience. That desire is telling you that the state that you are inhabiting can't give you that experience. So the change that you should be looking for isn't just an external one. You have to change within. You have to change how you are feeling about yourself and about the world, about that person. There are many ways to work on your self-concept, to align yourself to a certain reality. A simple way would be to ask yourself, how would I feel if I was already living that life? Then you have a set of ideas. How would I think about my specific person? How would I think about myself? How would I think about my life? Compare it to how you are feeling today. And then you are going to see why you don't have your desire. Because they don't match. Okay? So the job here is to become that change. Becoming that change means to embody that version to see life that way, to not condition it to the fact that that person isn't in your life right now. So it's not finding an excuse. Well, of course, I don't feel that way because the person is not here. This is an excuse. Everything that you need is within you. You can align your mind to feel satisfied and fulfilled and happy. You can be grateful for what you have instead of looking at what you don't have. But you are always finding excuses as to why you can't be that now. Oh, it's because of 3D. Oh, it's because money. Oh, it's because um, my person is not here. You are conditioning your desire. And that's the reason why you're not experiencing it. But one thing is really important when you are working on your self-concept. Whatever you do, you should do this for you. What I see is a lot of people saying, what can I do to get that? So the importance is not you. You're just a means to an end, okay? Your self-concept is a means to an end. The important thing here is that thing, is that person. Again, putting that person on a pedestal. When you understand what your desire is about, this is a story about you. It's a story about you loving you, you choosing you, prioritizing you, changing the limiting beliefs that are not suiting you. We all have them, okay? So sometimes they are going to create a wall, a block, and this is your opportunity to change it. Whatever you do, do this because you want to feel differently about yourself. Because you want to feel differently about your life. Because you know you deserve more. Because you know you can get more and that this is available to you. Because you know that everything about you, the love that you have in life, the happiness that you have in life, the fulfillment, the satisfaction, it's unconditional. Being in your frame helps you to overcome 3D circumstances in a very easy way. Why? Because, for example, you will understand that nobody on this earth can reject you. No one. Rejection is a story that you accept because you say, I'm not good enough for that. That's why they are. They don't want to have me. But when you go through a situation like that and you have confidence in who you are, then you know that what they are doing is just a mistake that they are going to regret. You don't have to be desperate. 
You don't have to stress out or to try to control or manipulate the 3D. You know, I am the best thing that they can have. They are going to realize that. They are going to come back. And they should be praying to God that I'm going to take them back. Okay? Because I am the prize. Your confidence is not on how they feel about you, what they think about you, and what they would do. Your confidence is in who you are. Who you are creates an environment where people can act a certain way towards you. So that's where your confidence should be. People ask me sometimes, how can I feel like they're going to do this? You don't have to feel that way. You just have to feel that way about you. I am someone that people want to be with. I am someone that people love. I am someone that people are crazy about. I am someone that creates that reaction in people. That's why when your mind try to make you figure out what is happening with them, bring it back to you. It's not about them. It's about who I am. I am someone who is unforgettable. I am someone who people get crazy about. I am someone that people never give up on. When you are in your own energy, you don't feel affected by what people say or do, how they react towards you. You are grounded in the idea of who you are. Whatever they say, whatever they do, is not taking anything away from you. It's not taking your power away from you. It's not affecting how you feel about yourself. What they are saying is, you know, a snapshot. But people change. They change their minds and they are going to see my value. They are going to see my importance. Maybe right now, they can't see it yet. But you can't deny who I am. You can't deny how people feel about me. Your focus is not on the outside. Your focus is an internal one. I am grounded in the idea that I have about who I am. Your personal experience is a reflection of your relationship with yourself. If there is a void within you, and you are not taking care of it, you will see the reflection of that void in your relationships, because you are not taking care of yourself, because you are looking for healing and salvation outside of you, when the only healing and salvation that exists is from you. The only healing and salvation that will last is from you. Take a look at my self-concept video if you haven't done yet. People are going to get addicted to you, to your energy, to having you in their lives. They will want to be there for you. They will see your value. They will see your importance. They will feel the pull towards you. And it's all you. It's all you. You haven't manipulated anything. You haven't forced anything to happen. You, the only thing that you did was to take a look at your self-concept and figure out what is not suiting you anymore. The ideas that you have about yourself, the world, and them. The change will come from you, from your confidence, from your energy, from you knowing that you are the one and the only one, from you knowing that no one can ignore who you are, that you are unforgettable, that you are amazing, and that you have a lot to offer, a lot that they would profit from. So it's a mindset change, okay? You guys got this. That's it from me, guys. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you enjoyed the video and we are going to talk soon. Bye-bye.